earlier, Becky Contois talked to you about the wedge and the cross wedge. But you can do them in reverse also, like the reverse wedge. Now, a reverse wedge is an exciting move, like all wedges. They're extremely effective if done correctly. A few things to review. Remember, you're always, in all wedges, going to heel toward the paddle. And the boat will move away from the paddle placement. Now, let me go over the elements of a reverse wedge. First, you're going to initiate a reverse wedge with a reverse sweep. Remember, your control thumb is up. You're going to go from the stern to the bow. Then you will slice back into the paddle placement, which has the paddle near the stern. The leading edge is near the hull, with the trailing edge of the paddle out a few inches. At the conclusion of the spin, or when the spin starts to slow, your conclusion is a reverse sweep again. Control thumb is up. One more time, a reverse wedge. One little stern way here, little rearward, rearward momentum. Now you can also do reverse wedges on your offside. Remember, the offside you need to rotate your torso towards your offside. If you face your work, it'll help. Here's a cross reverse wedge. One more time. Now, on a cross reverse wedge, after facing your work or rotating your torso back towards the stern, you will initiate with a cross reverse sweep, followed by a slicing in to the paddle placement. Remember, your leading edge is going to be closer to the hull. Control thumb is pointed aft or to the stern. Ride the cross reverse wedge and then cross reverse sweep is your conclusion. All wedges are fun, and reverse and cross-reverse wedges are just dynamite. Hi, I'm Tom, back to do some reverse side slips with you. The reverse side slips are just like the forward side slips Mary Lou showed you, only backwards. It will probably help to keep things straight if we refer everything to the direction of travel. The leading edge of the paddle defines the direction of the side slip, and you always lift the leading edge of the canoe. That was the reverse static draw. Let me turn around and come back toward you with that one again.
the reverse static draw as the slice back to your hip, turn the leading edge of the paddle away from the canoe, lift the leading edge of the canoe, and side slip. reverse static pry will be similar, but in this case, you want to slice past your hip, turn the leading edge of the paddle toward the canoe, and lift the leading edge of the canoe, which is your offside. Just like all the other maneuvers, anything we do on the onside we can do on our offside. So we have a cross reverse, static draw, and static pry. The cross reverse static draw will be a slice back to your hip on your offside. So cross over, slice back, turn the leading edge of the blade away from the canoe, and ride your cross static draw. Cross static pry will be very much like the others, but in this case, the leading edge of the paddle will be toward the canoe. It goes like this cross over, slice back past your hip, turn the leading edge of the paddle toward the canoe, ride the side slip. Remember, keep your blade vertical. And this concludes our review. We hope that you've enjoyed it and that we've helped you train your canoe. The next step would be to link all these maneuvers into a pleasant form of play.